Border security is national security. And he can do it, but he won't. He won't implement the policy that is required to enforce the border. Our Customs and Border Protection professionals, our Border uh, Patrol professionals, they can, they can manage the border. They can secure the border, but only if they're given the right tools. Look, by uh, returning to the, the Remain in Mexico protocol and the Third Safe Country protocol, which we had under the prior administration, CBP and Border Patrol can and will secure the border. But the Biden administration won't do, won't do it. So they can continue to talk. They can continue to obfuscate. Alexandra uh, Mayorkas can, can continue to obfuscate. But the reality is this. If the Biden administration puts those two policies in place, remain in Mexico and third safe country protocol, the professionals on the border, CBP and Border Patrol, will secure the border right now. Not sometime in the future. Now. Look, in order to be a strong nation, we have to have strong borders. And right now, we don't have that. We're in the middle of the worst border crisis in our nation's history. And since President Biden took office, there have been more than 5 million illegal crossings. In addition to that, I mean, that's the most in U.S. history. But in addition to that, 1.4 million known gotaways. In addition to that, all of the unaccounted for unknown gotaways, including terrorists, human traffickers, and other bad actors that are taking advantage of our open southern border. You know, I've been there multiple times, and I'm going to be traveling there again today. So thank you to Senator Marshall and my other colleagues that will be going down there to visit with our, our Border Patrol and law enforcement. And they told me in the times that I've been there before that, yes, we need a wall. We need border enforcement. We need funding. But what we really need, in their words, is an administration that has their back. And right now, they don't have that. Joe Biden has decided that it's best to cede control completely of our southern border to cartels, multi-billion dollar criminal organizations that work in partnership with the Chinese Communist Party to flood fentanyl into our country, to kill our youth. In fact, the number one killer of young Americans today between 18 and 45 years of age is overdose. Most of it fentanyl coming across that southern border. This is the next chapter in Joe Biden's America. The national security crisis that he has created here in America is, as my colleagues have said, like nothing we've ever seen before, but it goes beyond our borders. I met with the president of Guatemala. He told me that he would like to tell me what the root cause of the problem is in his country. He said he's lost all control of his southern border because there are now caravans of people moving through his country. He has no idea who they are. He's lost control of his sovereignty as a nation because of what Joe Biden has done to invite people from all over the world to illegally enter our country. I haven't been to the sanitized show that our president and vice president's staff set up for them to see when they went to the border. We went to the border. We went to the detention, the processing centers. We went to a stash house. We talked with Border Patrol. We saw the border. What was really happening at the border? What we're hearing from this administration, the claims that there's no crisis, that the border is safe, that's false. You all know that. It's false. We have an administration now, they can't even say the words uh, illegal immigration. It's been reworked into irregular migration. That's what we hear from the Department of Homeland Security. That's what we hear from the Department of Justice, irregular migration. I don't understand why the administration can't be honest with the American people. So I went to the border three times so far in my tenure in the United States Senate. I want to put that in perspective for you. So I went three times in two months, whereas Joe Biden has only been three hours in two years. And when we went, we asked for the real unvarnished truth. And what I am here to tell you is that we have a humanitarian and a national security crisis at our border every single day. As a mom, it was gut-wrenching to watch women pregnant attempt to cross the border with multiple tiny children behind them. 
to look into the eyes of our CBP agents who said, look, I pulled a woman from this very river last week who was pregnant with twins. She drowned. As a mom, to sit across from a young woman who told me it wasn't that she was raped every day, it was how many times a day she was raped at the hands of the drug cartels. As I've traveled the great state of Alabama, sitting across from a parent who told me he lost his son to fentanyl poisoning. When in the world is this administration going to wake up? We must seal and secure our border, put back in policies that just make sense.